Okay. So uh, yesterday I mentioned that um, it's been two days and already comic book pros are like freaking out. I mentioned that on Diamond Comics uh, closed shop um, for as long as they, until it's, you know, over in America it's lifted. But Diamond Comics supplies all of the world. It's a one monopoly in comics and everybody is like forever has been saying, well, you can't have just a one company that supplies all comic books for the rest of the world and we know monopolies are not a good thing because they can hike their prices whenever they aren't they can lower it whenever they want or they can just leave you in the gutter whenever they want and so the, the um, comic pros have realized like i'm talking about like mainstream comics the guys who basically do three four books every day every week or whatever every month and they're freaking out and so they've been told marvel all of marvel marvel artists have been told and writers and creators editors whatever have been told to put their pencils down so there's a hashtag right now pencils down on twitter and a lot of them are freaking out because they realize they might not have a job soon and how do they react sadly they start attacking customers and fans people who have for 40 years like myself have spent money you know buying the material buying supporting the fandom, supporting um, the merchandise, clothing, you know, all the works, comic books, all the works. So what's, what's, what's happened is people have realized that this is how they have been behaving for the last five to 10 years. As I mentioned, they want to re re um, rehash these things, but they keep doing it, right? Even in the last 24 hours, they've just come out straight away attacking, calling horrible, horrible names, uh, you know, Nazis, xenophobes, uh, Easterphobes, racist, me getting caught you know being online being directed and being called a racist and you know in post by people that i support that i buy the product of and so you know we're coming to realize that hey these guys have been like this for decades and so why should i be supporting their work and why should i be spending money on their work money that i've spent time earning in various ways and i think the idea is that they're freaking out and but they're saying give me money but you're a horrible person. Get, get um, pay for my work, but you're a horrible person. Pay, support me in my work, but you're a horrible person. I've been in customer service for 15 years, right? And I, I still am in customer service because I still have custom with people who support my work, who support uh, what I do, who support Plunge, um, you know, local businesses. So, you know, and I support them. And so as a customer service person, as an artist, you are in custom, right? So uh, custom being money, right? And service being making sure that the people who are who you're trying to make this uh, product for, your customers are still going to support you after this hard time. A lot of them re don't realize that w this too will pass, right? Our forebears went through this as well. You know, hardships, the Great Depression. It's going to take us months, if not years, to recover from this because all the all the businesses are going to find it hard coming back in so we have to think about what's after this and a lot of people aren't thinking about what's after this they're mostly thinking about now and the way to deal with now is to abuse people and i think that's the wrong way to do that especially in a business that's going downhill like the mainstream comics i'm not about independent creators like myself uh independent creators they're out there like alterna um have, um several you know lower tier, lower tier um, creators and companies uh, but if you if if you think it's in your if you're in the right to attack your customers while they can't afford to buy your product right now and this is the thing people don't have money to buy toilet paper overseas but you're saying buy my comics and then when they say i can't afford it you go you're a horrible person you're a racist you're a xenophobe you're a nazi this thing this sort of behavior is a downfall of what they're doing and yeah they've been warned for for almost a decade to stop doing this treat people like that that you want to be treated respect goes both ways and i've been sometimes i've said things because either i've been you know because I've, i'm on medication or such or i haven't you know i'm energetic and excited and i've been told off and i've yeah and i've apologized said, yeah yeah sorry might be you know i'm a better thing and and let's carry on and I think, you know, uh, if, if you've been told for five to 10 years that this is not the way to behave towards customers, people who earn the hard money, 
that's not the way to do it. And you don't do it. And you go, hey, sorry, guys, um, you know, we need your business. Okay, so there's a new um, trailer out for Gotham uh, High. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll put it on here soon. Um, I was trying to figure out whether it's worth putting up. It's a new um, graphic novel uh, by a New York Times bestseller, uh, Gotham High. So there's a uh, there's a trailer for it on YouTube, and I'll, like I said, I'll put it on here. It's basically Twilight, Twilight, for Batman, and that's the only way I can think of describing it. And it's not even my description, but that's the only thing that comes to my mind. They're at high school. It's a it's a uh, love triangle, and. So Batman's at high school now. Bruce Wayne's at high school. I shouldn't say Batman, but Bruce Wayne's at high school. Selina Kyle is uh, a teenager. And she's uh, got another boy on the side. So the whole thing's about a love triangle. And my, you know, my response to that was sex sells, right? Um, when you run out of ideas, sex sells. So if you don't, have, if you're a writer, artist out there, if you don't have any ideas on what to do at the end of the day, use sex. It sells cars, it sells um, chocolate, it sells clothing, and that's a that's a low hanging fruit, as far as I'm concerned. If you, if unless your book's about that right from the start, it's about, you know, sex. Then you go. This is what the book's about. It's about sex. But if you're using iconic characters like Batman and Selena Kyle, especially after they basically did a huge, horrible thing with um, Tom King with um, with Batman, you know, saying that he's going to get married and then destroying that marriage at the last at the last minute, and then instead killing spoilers, killing Alfred, basically destroying Alfred, um, and so yeah. But then here we go. Now we're going to use we're going to come up with a Gotham uh, graphic novel um, storyline, whatever, where it's a love triangle called Gotham High with Twilight, Batman Twilight. So that's all I got to say to that. It's like you know when you can't come up come up with any interesting ideas uh, for stories, use sex, but don't don't use iconic characters. Uh, because um, that's you know you've got decades of children reading these books, and I don't I don't have a problem with Batman Twilight as long as you put not use Batman as Twilight, <laughs> right? Because it just shows you that you are all you're doing is writing fan fiction. Um, you know, as much as I thought Twilight was okay, I have no problem with Twilight. I didn't see the last uh, movie, but it was just an okay movie, right? An okay book. I guess I haven't read the book, but it was an okay movie. But Batman Twilight isn't what we need right now. We need really cool things. Talking about Batman, Superman. So ben, Mike, uh, Brian Michael Bendis, who for about 20 years wrote um, some pretty good books for, uh, for Marvel, has decided that... Um, Superman isn't su the first Superman. So, yeah, so he's just decided, well, you know what? I, I'm writing Superman right now, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just make sure that Clark Kent wasn't the first Superman now. Okay. But you've just basically taken away something like 80, 90 years of um, stories. So this is what why uh, comic book fans hate what's happening in comic books right now. Because, and then I'm talking about the mainstream, like Marvel and DC, what's happening, those two companies specifically, is because the, you've got all these writers who have run out of ideas, you know, after decades and decades of, you know, these books. They've decided, well, you know, well, we're going to retcon. And retcon's the word they use where they change the characters. Uh, they change what characters are, what's important in their lives, who they are. Uh, who their family is, they'll change, oh, there's somebody else new now, or somebody, oh, no, that person's somebody else now, that person's male now, or that person's female now. Um, and and it's kind of like, this is what you do when you run out of ideas, you just change the background of the character. And sometimes it's okay, uh, because, you, you know, uh, it can, can be interesting. 
but we all know Superman is Clark Kent. So why would you make somebody else the new Superman? Right? Why would you want to do that? Because we know Clark Kent. We generations of us know who Clark Kent is. He's the original Superman. But you don't. But you want to now go and change that into somebody else being the first Superman. Why? I don't know. All I can say is a run of ideas. And that's why I think this is the for us independent creators, it's going to be a good thing. Uh, not not putting down the mainstream comics. I I have my rooms full of them, right? I have like boxes are full of them. But I think anything after two thousand five or two thousand fourteen is trash. Not everything. Most majority, about eighty to ninety percent of anything that came after two thousand fifteen or fourteen is trash. Uh, because they don't, they don't decided. Well, you know what? We're going to overhaul the market, overhaul the companies, our characters and stuff, and do what we think is best. Even though we've never, never grew up with these characters, we've never written anything with these characters, we never even looked at the history of these characters. But we know.